Okay, so this is a, I think a perianal adenoma, just a very large one. Um, but I have a second cytology pending I'm gonna go look at before surgery. But it's, even though it's pretty big, the base isn't huge and it palpably, it doesn't feel real deeply attached. So, and I've already discussed with the client, the plan is to take it off marginally um, because the uh, assumption is that it is a perianal adenoma and they generally have a pretty benign behavior. So uh, that should be sufficient, but we'll send it off. And if it's um, something more malignant, then we'll revise if we need to. But that way we can avoid additional trauma in this area where there's you know, important nerves and whatnot. So we don't cause fecal incontinence unnecessarily. Um, and so what I will plan to do is put my uh, incision in kind of a vertical orientation. Um, so just make an elliptical incision around the base um, and come as close as I can to the base of the mass. Ideally, I'll try and not go through the uh, duct to the anal gland there, but we'll see if it's involved with it, then we'll probably have to take it. Um, but ideally, we'll just save all the other structures, take a very marginal approach, um, and uh, get it out. And then that should close really easily. But I'll probably take some video intraoperatively too and let you see what I'm doing. All right.